and all over the world, people are noticing small and big changes to the land masses that they are familiar with. And one that I noticed is in my hometown of Galveston Island, Texas. And this is Galveston. And you'll see right above Galveston is this other island. It's called Pelican Island. And that huge land mass, which now has a university and uh, another, a number of other businesses on it, that huge land mass, from my experience in 1974 through to the 2000 something, that land mass did not e exist like that. It didn't look like that, it wasn't that big, and it definitely didn't look like that. Now I know for sure that I would have noticed if there was a huge island just a couple of miles away from Galveston where I grew up. And in fact, it's not just that I grew up on the island and I know a lot about the island, but I have a very specific experience and memories, lots of experiences and memories, where I know I would have seen Pelican Island, but I never saw an island that looked like that. Now Pelican Island has always existed, but in my reality, Pelican Island was a tiny little thing right over here, that tiny little spot. And you would see it when you would take the Galveston Ferry from Galveston over to Port Bolivar. And you would just pass by and there would be this abandoned looking building, Seawolf Park. It was a tiny little place, um, but it definitely wasn't this huge island. And I have actually two major things that I want to share with you. First of all, I want to share with you my experience um, so you know that I know what I'm talking about. And second, I found some residual evidence of a map that doesn't have this huge land mass on it. And I want to show that to you as well. So the first thing I guess I want to show you, um, let's look at how I know that this island did not look like that until just recently. So this is the Galveston Yacht Basin. And I spent almost every weekend of my childhood at this yacht basin. My parents had a sailboat right here where this green star is. And I'm going to show you pictures of that in a minute. And I used to always walk down the dock and then hang a right on another dock. And you can barely see it, but there's like this little buoy out there. Well, in my lifetime, there was a huge cement structure and big black thing, metal thing coming out from the top of it. And I used to sit here all the time and fish almost every weekend. And I guarantee you, I would have noticed if there was a big landmass right there. And I would have noticed if there was a lot of ship traffic right here. But the only thing that there was was way over here, outside of the picture, but where this land is now, there was a guy who used to live on his little red sailboat. And sometimes I'd see him getting in his little dinghy and he'd come over and then he'd go to the grocery store and stuff. But he was always living out on that little sailboat. Well, he can't do that now because there's a huge island out there. So I would be sitting somewhere over here and the Pelican Island comes around here. And I just, I wanted to show you this map too because a couple interesting things. So apparently over on the very left bottom corner, there is now a bridge from Galveston over to Pelican Island. And that's helpful because Texas A&M University at Galveston is actually located right at this um, bottom left corner. So I guess they would need access. And then also, just in case you didn't notice um, a couple interesting street names. There's Halliburton Road and Pennzoil Road, and then the island continues on. So, I spent most of my childhood here. And also here, there are a bunch of big rocks um, by the parking lot, and I would lay on the rocks and read and hope cute boys would walk by, and they never did. And then the head was over here, and this is where we would shower, and there was the little office there. Um, but really most of my time was spent right out here with my little fishing rod 
uh, kitchen piggies. And here are some pictures. Um, this was me on the boat. And I want you to notice in the background, see those are the boats, the other sailboats there. And then this is the dock that I was telling you about. This is me in Easter, and I, I think, I don't know, 84. And I was in a dress, so I was not happy. Um, but this was me at Easter, and that's the dock I was just telling you about. So I used to walk down that dock, and those were the sailboats that were behind our sailboat, walk down that dock here. So that was me. Um, oh, and this was our sailboat, another picture of our sailboat. So I know that area. I know for a fact that if I'd been sitting right over here, I would have noticed that there was this huge mass of land, but there wasn't. It was just open bay. That's why the yacht basin was there, because you could just go out into the bay. But now it's like a major thoroughfare. Also interesting, just to point out over here, this is the dam, the Texas City Dam. So look, this island, they've like blocked it all in and the only way you can get out of this through the water is to go down through here. I totally would have noticed if boats have been doing that. But also, just for the record, check this out. This is, first of all, this on the left is a map from 1907 that I found. Now I know you're saying, well that's a long time ago, but you know, they did know how to circumnavigate land back in 1907. They would have noticed if there was a huge mass of land there. But see here, right there, that little tiny dot, that's a little bit bigger than the size of Pelican Island I remember. Um, and in fact, it was called like Pelican Spit at the time. And now, apparently, there's Pelican Spit, Pelican Island, and Galveston Island. So Galveston Island is really two and a half islands. But I wanted to show you something, and I'm sure hoping you can see this. So, in today's map, over here, you can see right there is Pelican Island. But it's not here on the old map. And let me move this on top of it. And you just keep your eye on this right here. Keep your eye on that island and I'm going to move it over to the map. So, see how they kind of pretty much will pretty, pretty much ma match up. I mean, that's pretty good. And actually, honestly, this part of Galveston is different too, but that's a whole different story. Okay, so Bolivar matched up, Galveston matched up, but see Pelican Island here? That's just sitting in open water. Now above it is a tiny little thing like Pelican Spit. Can you see that? But that big old Pelican Island, see it there? That didn't exist, not in 1907, and not in 1984, and not the last time I was down there sometime in 2000. So, I know a lot of people may be thinking, well, this girl's completely lost her mind. But I just thought it would be important to share with people that some of the geographical changes aren't just taking a place all around the globe, some of them are taking place right in our own hometowns. So keep your eyes open, pay attention. There may be new bridges and roads ahead. Um, and just pay attention anyway, because it's kind of fun having to spot the changes around you. And by the way, just for the record, I have no idea what's causing the Mandela Effect, but I think it's pretty awesome, and that's why I'm making videos, because I think people should um, kind of wake up. I'm not, I'm not saying you're asleep, because I just woke up to this like a month ago. <laughs> but I think our other people should wake up too because it's really kind of awesome. And we're getting like new islands and stuff. So how can you beat that? Okay, thanks for watching.